First, I want to send it to my co-anchor, Mark Curtis, who is live in the studio. And Mark, we have new video on the death of a Graham County inmate. We do, Caribe. Thanks. New tonight, the 12 News I team has obtained exclusive video that shows the final moments of a Graham County inmate's life. This, the latest part of our ongoing investigation into the mysterious death of 28-year-old Jordan Sims, who died after police say that she jumped out of a prison transport vehicle just days after that she claimed that she had been sexually assaulted by a police officer. Team 12's Michael Doudna joins us now with new video from Sims' final moments. Michael. The video shows the moments before and after her death, with officers themselves even asking, what happened here? Brought him to the hospital and stuff, and all of a sudden the door opens. He's still just supposed to open on the inside. Officers on the scene shocked. She jumped out of the back. She what? She jumped out of the back. After police claim 28-year-old Jordan Sims escaped handcuffs, a belly chain, and ankle restraints before jumping out of the back seat. Every one of those is hard, it's difficult. Jeff Hines is a former Phoenix police commander and body camera footage shows officers themselves asking questions. Documents, because that doesn't make any sense. What didn't make any sense was the locks. Backseat child locks meant to prevent inmates from opening their own doors were only engaged on the passenger side, but not the driver's side where Jordan Sims fell out. <laughs> Last couple of days, I guess, have gone to hell. Um, there's allegations that uh, Officer French. That body camera may have been turned off, but the allegations seem to have been well known. See, just five days before falling out of this prison transport, Sims accused Officer Jeremiah French of sexually assaulting her while the two were alone in a hospital room. There's just rubbing on my body on top of my clothes, and then he moves his hand down farther in my pants, and he starts. This is from a forensic interview filmed just hours before her death, where Sims accuses two officers of sexually assaulting her, Officer French and a female detention officer in the jail. Why don't you go and report this? This is going to you now. Neither officer nor the police or sheriff's departments would speak to 12 News for this story. However, both officers deny any assault. In fact, Officer French's attorney tells 12 News he adamantly denies all the allegations. Jordan would leave this exam room for the Mountain Graham Regional Medical Center, but just two blocks away, Jordan fell from the car. I mean, something that doesn't add up here. Benjamin Taylor is Jordan's family attorney. He says even if there weren't allegations of abuse, it would be Graham County's responsibility to make sure someone in their care stays safe. They seem to not understand why the doors were, weren't locked. That's their job. The video, disturbing. But Jordan's mother hopes it will bring her justice. As security footage captures the moment Jordan's body falls from the sheriff's vehicle, rolling to a stop. It eats you. It feels like it eats you from the inside out. Jordan would die from her injuries, leaving Deborah Sanchez without her daughter, wondering how this happened. My daughter's body gets dumped here. Hospital's right there. I live in Hill every day, and we still don't have no answers. Now, this is the latest in our series of stories centered around Graham County, including a story where six women came forward alleging a culture of sexual abuse at the Graham County Jail. You can check out that story and many others right now at 12news.com. We're in Phoenix. Michael Doudna, 12 News.